I'll be yeah. back. Okay. I'll definitely be back. Go to no I'll be there. And don't be looking at me with scorn. that I grew. See that? It's corn. It's mixed corn. And I grew that um, a few years ago in my garden and it's a non-GMO organic corn. And I've honestly never made anything out of it, but I love having it because today is actually the first day of labeling GMOs in Vermont. The rest of the country is behind it, but Vermont has passed a GMO labeling law and today is the first day where that's the law. And of course they're fighting us in Washington tooth and nail to not have that labeled because they don't want that. Monsanto doesn't want that. But we're labeling it anyway. And we have a right, whether you like GMOs or not, we have the right to know what is in our food. Just like we have the right to know how many carbs, how many proteins, how, what vitamins, all that is on the label. So it should be on the label, whether there's GMOs in there or not. There's on there fats, saturated, unfat and unsaturated fats. So we have a right to know whether then you choose to eat GMOs or not is up to you. But we need to have that labeled all over the country and they are fighting against that and for good reason because they're gonna go bankrupt if we don't buy their shit anymore. This legislation is important because people have a right to know what they eat and what their children eat. The more information we have, the better consumers we are. Ha we are. This is not, as you all know, a radical idea. It is what over 60 countries all over this world have done in passing GMO labeling legislation. And that is also why the states, not only of Vermont, we went first, but of Connecticut, Maine, and Alaska have also passed legislation to mandate labeling of food that contains GMO products. Unfortunately, the major agribusiness and biotech corporations disagree. They do not believe that people should have a right to know what's in the food that they eat. And that is why they have spent hundreds of millions of dollars in lobbying and campaign contributions to overturn the GMO right to know legislation that Vermont and other states have passed. And also that many other states want to pass. This is a movement that is going throughout this country. The Grocery Manufacturers Association, which sued and lost in trying to stop Vermont's law, has 34 lobbyists working on this issue alone. They spent $8.5 million lobbying between 2015 and 2016, and of course they're spending more this year.
Thank you, guys. Thanks, when I get to my wallet, <laughs> I'll be contributing. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you so man. much. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's good. Okay, Curtis. That's good. That was it? All right. Well done once again. <laughs> I'll be back again next year. There you go. All right. He doesn't come to visit me anymore. He comes to visit too. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> Hopefully you remember her name. I forgot it myself. Uh, I only see her once a year. <laughs> Introduce your, your name. Mediterranean mix. <laughs> and how would you describe your food? Good. Uh, good. There you go. <laughs> there we go.